Good morning, tubers. Madam Roy back to you once again, back on the 21st of October, 2017. A beautiful Saturday morning here in southeast Virginia. We have quite a bit planned today. Mom and I are going to meet up with Dad later at Driver Days, which is a huge, big event that they have once a year in October. Um, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to take our bikes to the bike path because our end of the bike path actually ends in driver so we're going to wind up biking probably about six miles total today we're going to take the truck drive it to where the bike pass starts take the bikes over there meet up with dad see what he's up to because they're having a big car show over there they have a lot of crafts all of the uh, little stores over there tend to put out their wares so you can take a look at it should be a very very interesting day but first and foremost i need to go ahead and check on these bikes now i must say this Every year I've been to driver's days, it has been cloudy, gloomy, and cold. And when I say cold, I mean in the 30s, 40s. I think the warmest driver's day, driver day I remember in the past, it may have gone up to 50 degrees. Not so today. Today, right now, we're sitting at about 65, and it's supposed to be going up to about 73. Going to be absolutely gorgeous. Very, very low humidity today, too. I think they're talking about maybe 50% humidity at most. So a nice warm temperature, low humidity should make for a fantastic bike ride. Now, I need to go over my bike again. Ooh, man, you, there's a real shadow when I turn that way. <laughs> That new bike that I got, I need to go over it again because I want to make sure that the tires are still holding air. As of last time, uh, about two or three days ago, the tires were holding air just fine. I haven't had to put any in there, but since it's a newer bike, I don't really know its history. I want to keep an eye on it. I need to go and oil some of the... Um some of the points on there too like the tires are squeaking a little bit but i don't unfortunately don't have any bike oil or any bike grease at the moment so i'm gonna have to either pick some of that up or i may go ahead and just bring the bike over to scat and have them take a look at it and you know do the regular maintenance they usually offer a maintenance check for usually around 20 or 25 dollars so we'll see what happens i'm gonna go and pull my bike out make sure it is indeed holding air and we'll get this day started Catch you in a little All bit. All right, Tuber. So here is my new bike. For those of you that have not seen it, it is pretty much identical to my old Huffy. It's a Huffy Iron Man, and it is a 21-speed bike with Shimano gears. And I love this bike for that reason. This has the very, very nice, what I like to call ratchet shifting gears. So basically, you uh, shift here to go up, and there's a little paddle down here that will bring you back down in gears. It has three different ranges on this side, and these all work, unlike my other bike. I cannot get it into the third range of gears. I believe it's a cabling issue, but I really haven't had a chance to diagnose it. But let's check these tires. That tire is still full of air, and that tire is still full of air, so we are good to go with this bike. And just to show you how identical this is to my old bike, this is my old Huffy here, once again. Huffy Iron Man, uh, 21 speed Shimano. The only difference is, for some reason, the uh, racing handles on this bike are painted purple. Now, I don't know if that was from the factory or if that's something that somebody did. It's very possible since I got this bike at a garage sale as well years ago. Um, they may have just decided to paint that purple. So give you an idea. I bought this one probably about five or six years ago from a garage sale in Suffolk and I paid $25 for it. I bought this one from a garage shell in our neighborhood um, two weeks ago, and I wound up paying $20 for this, and it is worth every penny. I know these aren't the highest-end bikes. Huffy is still considered kind of a cheap-ish bike, but this bike is really solidly built. With the absence of shock... The only exceptions with the absence of shock absorbers, this is really the perfect bike. Now, what I did is the bike, this bike actually came with this seat here. This is a Viscount banana seat. Very typical for a bike. Kind of hard. I'm really not a big fan of uh, these t regular bike seats. This is the seat that my parents use on their bikes. I tried this, and I just don't like it. It, do it, it does fit your fanny nicely, but it makes it very hard to pedal. It kind of makes your legs bow out like this, and I'm unable to pedal properly. Every time I try to ride a bike that has a seat like this, I feel like I'm going to fall off. So what I did is I changed the seat out. This seat that's on this bike now is the one that used to be on the other, and this one I like a lot better. This is a, Sch a Schwinn air cushion seat. Still in pretty good shape. Yeah, I'd say it's almost perfect, except for years ago, when I went up to my uncle's house, had a little accident when it was on the um, 
bike rack and unfortunately i had to just color that in with a little uh, black magic marker actually i think i used the sharpie but it's held up really really nicely over the years so i'm gonna go ahead and get these bikes on the bike rack um hopefully i know i need to start selling some of these other bikes i have my kent bike here which suffered a little damage uh, again from a bike rack when we uh, took it all on vacation this is not supposed to be that way this is where um the uh, bike rack rubbed against the side of the trailer and it kind of wore some of the paint off but this bike's still in good shape probably gonna be selling this bike and way back there you can't see it right now is an old uh, mid-50s japanese classic bike really really nice bike but in need of a restoration so one of these days i'm going to pull those out show you guys maybe one of you guys want to make me an offer on those if you do just send me All a right, personal tubers, message mom and i are here at the bike path got my helmet on mom is about to get hers on we were able to take the truck out wasn't sure if we wanted to because dad's in the middle of replacing the heater core so the passenger airbag is actually out of it but still runs just fine just got to make sure we don't get into an accident because she doesn't have an airbag working <laughs> nah it wouldn't make that much difference in a big boat like yeah, that only a couple miles from the house. that's true so we didn't go that far well we're going to head down the bike path we're going to head over to driver days hopefully it'll be as nice as it was last year and i'll talk to you when All we right, get tubers, there we made it to driver station we get in the sun so you guys can actually see my face Whew. I'm still kind of winded. Mom's uh, not quite as fast as I am on a bike, but we're going to check this out. Looks like driver days is in full swing right now. Beautiful day, though. I am perspiring just a tad here. Might take the helmet off for a few minutes. Uh, just try to kind of try to cool off a little bit. Whew. I'll tell you, allergies this time of year bite my butt. If it wasn't for the allergies, I could go twice as long as this, but we're going to check this out, and I'll catch you guys in a few All minutes. right, tubers, this is driver's day. It's driver days. God, I can't even talk today. Yeah, a lot of food that I absolutely cannot eat. Yeah, what do they got here? Barbecue, hot dogs, Maryland crab cakes, seafood, Philly cheese, fried mac and cheese, fried chips, and Polish sausage. Probably about the crab cakes, the only thing I'd be able to eat right now. But this is awesome. This is bigger than I remember other years. Really, really cool. What? Size <laughs> Where'd you find that? He thought it was a regular yeah, just break it in half. You'll be fine. I might be able to use some, so I'll save the rest for me. I was just showing them all the different food here. Stuff that we can't eat. I said maybe the Maryland crab cake. That'd be about it. Yeah. What do you think? Maybe you want to split one after? We'll see. All right, we're going to do some walking around, and I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. All right, check this out, guys. I love this. Custom-made minions. Look at that. It's like she made it out of um, felt. Oh, 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 oh. The little booties moved. That is so cute. Very talented, whoever made that. Might have to pick one of those up. Aren't they cute, the little minions? Oh, they are cute. That that one there, the one with the two eyes. I can't remember. I never remember which of which. I don't either. There's the one with the single eye. One is, I think that's Kevin, and I can't remember that Kevin one's and name. Bob. And look, Bob. That's that. it. A crab made out of. Oh, that is so cool. Beer tops. A beer precious. top crab. That is really cool. I still like. I still think. I, I have to say, I like the minions the best. They're cute. They're that is cute. really cute. I wish I was that talented. I'm not a very artistic person, unfortunately. Look at that, it almost looks like a, t I think that's supposed to be a tooth back there. A little pouch you can put some things in. It'd be real cool to give uh, c kids as a right, Christmas gift. So kid. Mom and I are passing all the jewelry booths, just yes. trying to avoid the yes, jewelry. jewelry. She's got way too much that's at home right, right now. Looks like retired. we're, yeah, exactly. Okay. Sure, thank you. Man, I tell you, we're heading out of the actual area. I want to see if they have any, uh, what? I'm not putting that on. No, definitely not putting that on. <laughs> yeah, take that away. <laughs> but uh, we're going to head over to some of the houses down here, see if they maybe have any garage sales. Going to take a look at some of these beautiful booths, I tell you. It's a lot bigger than I remember it in years past. One thing I cool, like, it's pet friendly here, and it's bicycle friendly. Not motorcycle, but bicycle. Fairly bicycle friendly, let's say. Well, we're going to walk around for a few minutes, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. All right, tubers, so sticking with the same theme. This is so cool. We have a pirate minion right here. Morning. 
That is so cool. I've never seen one that big. It's, a, it's one of those blow-up ones. Got the pirate's cap like Captain Jack Sparrow wears. He's got a little sword right there. Belt. And then, of course, the really thick minion glasses. Very, very cool. Never seen anything like that before. And here we go, guys. Temptation again. Look at these delicious baked goods. What? I don't think that would bother us. One bite of cake pop? If we split one. No. Split one. There's not much in there. Mom, we're trying. Remember, we're trying to be good. That's a bite. Uh, it's up to you. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to waste mine on there. I'll split one with you. No, I'm not splitting mine. I'm no. Splitting. Okay, then maybe I'll hold off. Sure. You want to be good. We're not even. I, I, we're not even going to get candy this I've year. I've been thinking about cake. I know I you've been thinking if, about what cake. They are. White cake or chocolate cake? I have no idea. Oh, oh, it's all chocolate alley, cake. All right, maybe we'll get one. You want to have one or not? All right, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll have a, I'll get off my diet one day. Uh, white. I'll do white. All right, I, tubers. I guess we're going to uh, get off our diet for today, but shouldn't be too, All right, too Mom bad. Mom wants to show you guys something. This is pretty cool, actually. It's a popcorn hand, and take a look. It's got a little uh, bat uh, on there. Ring. Yeah, a little bat ring. Thank you. That's pretty cool. Corn candy nails. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and it's in a, it's in a, 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 a plastic glove. A little candy a corn glove. finger there. Oh, 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 it's got me. No. <laughs> All right, tubers, check out what's back. You guys remember this from a vlog I did about a month ago? The dressing room. That is so cool. Yeah, I think they go to all the different places around here. Yeah, and they got a bouncy house back there, too. Cool old Pepsi Cola wooden sign made out of a barrel top. That's really cool. Let's see what else they got. Old AC Delco. Uh, what is that? Looks like it might be a can of oil or some kind of grease. Oh yeah, I used to collect these. Any vintage or old school radio. There you go. Atari 2600 and Atari 600 XL for those of you that are real vintage 8-bit uh, computer fans. Classic, classic system. Got plenty of stuff here for the kids. Look at that unique chandelier with a chicken on it, or a rooster, rooster, some kind of rooster. Really, really cool, unique things out here at driver days. <laughs> when they literally say you can find anything here, look at this, a panel for a gas pump, regular plus and premium with the button still intact. Isn't that cool? You can see that there's actually more buttons here, probably for other grades like 86, 87, or maybe even like a diesel mix. Very, very unique. Don't usually see those every here day. Here comes the Teddy Bear Express. Choo choo! All right, tubers, well, we are back home. That was an awesome day we had in Driver. Uh, we did make it the entire way, so this is going to be kind of a fitness update for you as well. Uh, we basically bike rode the entire trail and then some, because when we went to uh, Driver, we actually bike rode around there a little bit. And then we walked the rest of the way because it was a little too busy. And you'll see that. You'll have seen that already. I mean, it was just crazy. So we did a little over, almost seven miles. The whole path we found is just about seven miles. Plus, so far we've walked about 8,500 steps. So we got double our exercise in today. It is still absolutely gorgeous. It wound up getting a little bit hotter than they said. Right now, sitting at about 77 degrees and climbing. So I think we may actually hit that 80 degree mark. Very typical for around this area. This time of year can go either way. Like today, it's going to be up into the high 70s, low 80s. Tomorrow, it could be in the 30s or 40s. We have a big gamut of the temperatures around here. In other words, high to low and at the same times as well. So and that actually is what took my body a long time to get used to. When we first moved down here, I used to get very sick this time of year because the big drastic temperature changes constantly made me get ear infections, colds. I even got the flu a couple of times down here pretty much for the first time in my whole life. 
But I'm going to end the vlog here for today. Dad should be home shortly. Next year, we'll go to Driver's Day again as long as they still have it going. I heard it might be in question because... Uh, it was the last year the attendance was down, but if it go if it goes by this year, I can't even believe how busy it was. It was probably two to three times busier than it was last year, so I definitely think they're going to keep it at least for another year. Hope you guys are really enjoying these. I love doing them. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.